Hey everyone, DW Berman here with another lightweight video. Uh, this week I'm going over pivot points. Um, and I'm going to show you something that you might not be aware of. Uh, anyway, here's my vehicle in uh, lightweight, in layout. If I just hit uh, Y to rotate, I you know, can rotate my tire, but hey, my tire is coming off its axle. What's going on with it? Well, the problem is it's rotating around the pivot point, and the pivot point is way over here in the bottom of the scene under the car. Uh, let's drop over to Lightwave and see what that, or into the modeler and see what that looks like. Okay, here's the problem. All my wheels are modeled in position, so uh, in, whenever you model something in Lightwave, by default, the pivot point is here at the center of this cross point, so it's the, the origin of the thing. Um, if I click over here onto the scene, onto view, you can see you can click on pivot and you can see, hey, that's where the pivot is. It's right there in the middle. Looks like I've done some editing on it already. Anyway, switch back to layout. Okay, how do I move the pivot point from the center over to the side here? Well, one way to do that is in layout itself. You can go over to one of these tabs, so the modify tab, I believe, and uh, under translate, you have move pivot, and I can move the pivot point. Uh, you might want to switch over to uh, wireframe mode and uh, you want to change your perspective to right so you can see exactly where it is. And in this case, it's not that difficult to line it up because I can just line up the handles to the uh, to the wheel, the polygons on the wheels, and I can know it's pretty much right in the center there. So now when I switch back over to perspective and change my view back, you can see I hit Y to rotate and my car is rotating on the pitch, the wheel is rotating on the pitch in the correct correct dimension. Okay, now I, I mentioned that you can do this in, in Modeler as well. This is a pretty, pretty much easier. Um, just select the layer with the wheel on it and uh, you can select the pivot point here. You can do it just like you did in Layout. You can manually move it into position like that or you can just uh, click on the center pivot and it will center it on whatever you have selected and since in Lightwave if nothing is selected then everything's selected so all of these polygons are selected by default and therefore the pivot gets put in the center okay let's take a look at this in layout and let me just do that for all the other ones center pivot and some of you have tried this before and it's like what I'm going to show you is not going to be a surprise so switch back to layout and okay let me click on my rear tire oh look my pivot pivot has not changed okay well maybe i just need to sync the scene or something so synchronize to layout and save the object and switch to layout and my pivot point is still in the center so now when i want to rotate my tire is still you know rotating off changes to the left rear tire well how do i fix that well i can clear the object and reload it, and when I reload it, the pivot point will be in the right spot. Easier way to do this, and this is something that I, I don't think a lot of people know about, is with uh, Move Pivot selected, turn the Move Pivot tool on, and now come down here to the General and hit Reset, and there it reset the pivot point from where it was in layout to its new modeler position. So this way, we don't have to go through and redo everything. Of course, this is something you want to do before you animate because uh, I imagine it would kind of mess things up if you're moving pivot points during an animation, but uh, there you go. That is uh, setting your pivot points. Looks like I haven't done it for that one. Right rear, center pivot, save, back to layout, Make sure I have move pivot turned on and reset, and there my pivot point is up to the center of the car again. So um, yeah, there you go. That is uh, resetting pivot points in both modeler and layout. And uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you and uh, save you some uh, some angst as you try to figure out why these pivot points aren't moving when you've already moved them. That kind of stuff can get really frustrating, but. It's a really simple workaround in this case. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel so you can catch next week's video. And uh, 
check out my paid tutorials at liberty3d.com as well as all the other tutorials that are over there because we got a lot of great stuff there. 